vivaciously here <laughs> on Girl Talk. I'm going home. I no, want to know. No, you're so big. It's not safe. Well, yeah. We didn't say anything. No, Heather Olson is here, and <laughs> she has a very important question that we want answered, or we have an important question. We want to know why matchmaking. Well, I get asked that occasionally. Mm -hmm. It's not the first time. Um, you know, we talk a lot when we when we visit about chemistry and why people fall in love and why do we pick the wrong people and why do we, you know, when you see that old couple in the park walking hand in hand oh, and everybody fun. wants to be that someday and yeah. and sure. how rare mm -hmm. when we look at that do you think, you know, I just participated in my parents' 50th wedding anniversary party mm -hmm. and that was amazing and but people came up to them and say, oh my gosh, you just don't hear of that anymore, you just don't see that anymore mm -hmm. and. And so that begs the question, why Why do you use a matchmaker? Who uses matchmakers? When is it time to choose? Fiddle around the roof. Matchmaker. matchmaker. They okay. did. <laughs> <laughs> they did. And and many years ago, even here in the United States, in, in the rural areas, matchmakers mm -hmm. were used. Matchmakers are still used traditionally in the Amish communities mm -hmm. uh, for many reasons, including the fact that there's so much inner family living in the same area that we have to avoid problems from that perspective. But but in our culture, in right. just what we do, why a matchmaker? Why do people come to Singles Plus? And when is it appropriate? When are you just dating? When you're just this or that? And why are those old couples so rare? Uh -huh. and, uh, and, you know, it, it, sometimes you get lucky, you know, and the numbers just hit and the stars line up and you match with that perfect, truly compatible, most comfortable person. But it's rare because we settle, we pick, especially young people. Oh, yeah. They they rush because they're afraid that they're not going to be able to have children soon enough, or they rush because they're not lovable, or I just don't look just perfect, Barbie. Or well, you know, it's 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 interesting. I just read an article the other day, and it said why are why are younger people struggling um, with their careers, what I want to be, and with their um, significant others? And it said that because it used to be. You met a guy in college or in high school, and you kind of married within that geographic area because that was who you had contact with. Mm -hmm. Now with the Internet, right. yeah. Yeah. it said that you've got a million jobs to choose from, a million locations. It's not like you have 20 guys to choose from. You have 200 million guys to choose from, and it's almost overwhelming. Like, Well, I'm, you know, I'm not sure. You know, is there one person in, the life, in your life for you, or could yeah. there be 100 out there? See, I don't believe one? there is. And I, and I think I intrinsically when we get down to, one. you know, mm -hmm. your personal faith and, and right. how, how we find one another, I don't, I don't believe that don't there's either. just one. But I do know statistically that out of 100 men that you would find attractive, not you because, of course, you're married, but, <laughs> but, but <laughs> a single woman or a single I man. I still find men attractive and I'm married. There you go. It's well, okay. Her, <laughs> <laughs> but Abby. statistically, 2% are truly compatible. When we right. look at, at the science behind the, the psychological compatibility mm -hmm. profiling that goes on in addition to just dating preferences, 2% of people are truly compatible down the road where you get beyond all the, you know, pretty lingerie and into the sweats with the holes in them, you know, they, the, when the real person is unveiled on both sides. And, and it's not that, oh, my gosh, he turned into somebody different or he's totally changed or mm -hmm. she's entirely not who I thought she was. Right. It's that this is who she really is. She no longer is. goes to bed with the heels on. <laughs> well, men definitely court. I love to dance. And then 10 years later, I don't like to dance. Well, you loved to dance before. Right. No. I, don't think, I kind of feel like the Cinderella story, though. Sometimes you, you think, and maybe this is changing, but in my generation, you grew up to meet Prince Charming. And Prince Charming was gorgeous. He had a job. He Everybody loved him. He got you the most gifts mm -hmm. and everything. And then... And Nowadays, he took care of you. And he, and he, took and he did care. everything. Nowadays, I think when you say settling, I think I think sometimes women or men are looking for almost too perfect. Yeah, I don't. I completely I really just I, because there isn't a too perfect match for you. That's why yeah. a matchmaker. Right. Because okay, yes. too so perfect like, for you know they, I can't match perfect people. They don't right. exist. But I can make perfect matches, right. and it's based on. But I hear what you're saying. With you're them. right. You're right. You know, yeah. we we think that it has to be all that that they have to have this certain look we had a wonderful uh match recently between a guy which is why photo dating doesn't work and a woman they are madly in love he would never have chosen her based on her photograph 
one, she's a little bit heavy set, and he is Mr. Prince Charming all the way down, has always gone for the Barbie doll look, has always gone for the surface stuff, and of course, have never had a true connection. Uh -huh, right. He met her, and he was done, and vice versa, Aww, and it was all so over. Old. It was just yeah. such a great match. And and he admits himself that he would have never what do thought matches, that was his What type. do matches look like at the beginning, then? Maybe that's... I mean, do you go for coffee? Do you sit down? You know what I mean? When you said no photos, I mean, you... you meet, Our meet. clients do not see a photo of that one another so before cool. they meet. so cool. I love that. And, and because statistically, it just, they wouldn't... Like the voice. They get know? in their own way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're, our job is to get them out of their own way so, so that they can you, really how, meet. Then how, what is that initial meeting? First of all, they, they get a contact piece of information in terms of a phone number and a first name. Because okay. we don't want them to be able to research one another either. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they, they usually connect on the phone and... and a lot of times people get scared on the phone. They don't come off, you know, right. nervous on the right. phone or what have you. And then we encourage them to just do a, a 15 minute kind of Coffee. happy hour, mm -hmm. glass of tea mm -hmm. or what have you, whatever they like. And, you know, something easy to get away from if you're not comfortable, but easy to extend if you want do to. Do you typically have like three people that they can connect with that you say, okay, here, here are three mm -hmm. options, if you will? It, it doesn't really work that way okay. because our job, one, is to go out and find them. Mm -hmm. We do a very specific marketing mm -hmm. campaigns. But also, every time we introduce somebody to somebody new, it's a lot of the information in addition to the science. It becomes very alive and very organic based on the feedback that we received from the previous okay. encounter from both of you. And it's ah, confidential, so you don't yeah. know what he said about you. But we do, and, and the, it, it creates a lot of information that otherwise wouldn't be available. It's really interesting. It's pretty. It's, it's, it's behind the scenes. It, it gets. It's like air traffic control behind the scenes. Yeah, it's I love crazy. It. Well, you why. know, again, holiday season is here, and talking about behind the scenes and air traffic control. Segway. Guess where we're going? <laughs> where? We're going to the greenery, where I have a feeling there is a hustle oh. and bustle, and we oh, have yeah. lots of little elves love doing lots of little Just things and it. get a little oh, yeah. taste of nature. So stay with us. We'll be right back nature. here on Girl Talk. <laughs> Girl Talk is brought to you by J Banks Design, The Greenery, Stoneworks, and Custom Audio Video, and by Island Tire and Automotive Services. Please support these businesses who make our program possible.